Hello everyone out there in the bookverse. My name is Stephanie and as of right now, posting this, my very first video, I am officially a member of BookTube and I am so excited. I have been obsessed with BookTube for a few months now. I've just been kind of watching it on my phone, on my TV in the evenings, and I've not really been a part of it. I wanted to join in the conversations and be posting my own videos and just really interacting with people out there on BookTube who love books the same as I do. And so I finally decided that I would make my own YouTube channel, BookTube channel, whatever you wanna call it. And here is my first video. I decided to start it off with the booktube newbie question tag because I figured that would be the easiest way to go about it and it would take a little bit of pressure off me to think up something to do for my first video. So here we go. So question number one is why did you start this channel? Uh, I think I've kind of already answered that a little bit. I really just want to be able to talk about books. I want to give my opinions on books. I want to hear what other people think about books. I want to have conversations with people and really just get involved in the bookish community on YouTube. I think it is so much fun. I love watching the videos and I just think it would be a lot more fun for me if I could be involved. I want to be able to give recommendations and I want to be able to say what I think about the books that I'm reading and this is just the best way that I can do that. Yeah, I just, I'm just excited to be a part of the community. So on to question number two. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I don't feel like I'm that unique necessarily that I stand out a lot from other booktubers. I think I have different opinions on books and I think I'm going to recommend different books and I'm going to have different reviews of them. I'll probably post videos that are unique sometimes, but I, yeah, I think just having another perspective out there is going to be something that I have to offer. I really, I would love to host a readathon. I love readathons. I think they are so fun. They're so exciting. I get way more jazzed about just reading as many books as I possibly can for these readathons. So I would like to be able to host a readathon at some time, but we'll see, see what happens in the future. So maybe those are some things that I can give to the booktube community. What are you most excited for about this new channel? I also already answered that one. I really am just excited to talk with people, to be able to talk about books. I'm obsessed with books, I'm obsessed with reading, and I don't always have people that I can discuss them with, especially people who have read the same books as me or maybe people who have read other books that can give me good recommendations based on the type of books that I read. So I'm just excited for the interactions. I'm excited to get to know people on here, to make friends and to just talk about books and meet other people who love books as much as I do. because. It's not that common with my friends. I'm a little bit obsessed. So that's what I'm most excited about. Why do you love reading? I love reading for so many reasons. I love the stories. I love watching people go through these amazing adventures that I, I know I'm never gonna experience, but I can kind of experience them through reading those books. I love learning about different worlds. I love learning about the different magic systems in fantasy. I like the uniqueness of every book. I like the different ways that authors put them together. They make them their own. They make you love these characters and care about them and seriously be so invested in these characters' lives and their successes and failures that you're laughing and you're crying and you're just angry at a book. But it's just, it's this inanimate object, but you're just so into it that you feel all these emotions and it's just really, it just pulls at me and I love it. I love being able to just immerse myself in those worlds, to be able to get to know those characters and to love them and to learn from them. And I think reading just changes me, changes who I am. It's such an important part of my life and who I am. So that's why I love to read. Uh, what book or series got you into reading? And this one is 
actually really hard for me. I know a lot of people can pinpoint exactly what series got them into reading. And a lot of times it's, you know, Harry Potter over here, which I, I love. Seriously, I think that's the series that got me into binge reading a specific series and rereading a series 50 times in a row. But I don't think I really have a book or a series that got me into reading. I have loved reading since I was young. I remember when I was in kindergarten and I joined the older kids reading clubs because kindergartners didn't have them. And so I just have always loved reading. I'm not the fastest reader and I'm not necessarily the best reader, but I just, I've always loved it and I've always been into it and I can't remember a time when I wasn't into reading. So I can't necessarily pinpoint a certain book or series that got me into reading, unfortunately. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I have so many questions for them. <laughs> if I could just sit down with some of my favorite booktubers for like an hour, take them out to lunch, get a little coffee, and we could chat about how to actually do this, that would be great. Well, I guess I'd start off with the basics, honestly. I'd like to know how they make their sound good, their lighting good, how they prepare for their videos and come up with ideas for their videos. And I guess those are types of things that you learn as you go and you kind of get better at. But it'd be nice to have some experience that I could kind of pick their brain and maybe be better to begin with. I know some people are way better at videoing and editing already, but this is never something that I've done. I've never really been super techy or into those types of things. So this is all really new to me. I mean, how do they, make their videos interesting so people want to watch them. I know I'm making them mostly for myself, really. I just want to be a part of the booktube community so bad and I need my own channel to do that. And I have ideas I want to share and things I want to post out there. And so I want to make the videos, but also I want people to be interacting with me. <laughs> they can't just have nobody watching them or that's really not what I'm going for here. I need people that I can actually talk to about the things that I'm posting about and that I can have discussions with. So I want at least a little bit of people who watch my videos and talk to me about them and like people that I can watch theirs and talk to them. So just how to make those connections maybe is what I'm getting at. How do you make the connections with people that have the same interests as you and that you can just become good friends with over the internet rather than in person. So I think those are some good ones. Uh, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel would be the hardest to overcome? For me, I think it's honestly going to be, I am really self-conscious. I get anxious very easily and I'm just, I'm nervous in front of the camera, which is kind of a problem when the whole point is filming videos. So I think that's going to be one of my biggest challenges is just overcoming that anxiety and that self-doubt and all those things in my head saying that people aren't going to like your videos, people aren't going to want to watch them, you look really bad on camera. So just little things like that. Also, I think it's going to be hard for me to learn how to edit and to make them actually look good <laughs> and be like aesthetically pleasing. I have no idea how to make the little like pictures on the front at the beginning of all the videos. I don't know what those are called. Thumbnails? Thumb tags? I don't know. I don't know how to make the ending where they can link to other videos. I don't literally know how to even make a booktube channel. I'm filming this before I even have an actual channel set up. Yeah, I think those are gonna be some big challenges for me, but I'll get used to it, I'll learn, and I'm actually really excited to do it. Uh, when did you start reading? I started reading when I was super young, four or five. Uh, just easy ones, obviously, I'm not jumping straight into Harry Potter, but I do remember in first, first grade, I think is when I read Harry Potter, maybe it was kindergarten. Oh, I remember when I was little, I'd read like Mrs. Piggle Wiggles books. I don't know if anyone remembers those or it was just me, but I guess going back to the other question, Mrs. Pickle Wiggle, I love those books as a kid. I seriously wrote my own Mrs. Pickle Wiggle book. So yeah. <laughs> that's how young I was. <laughs> Illustrated it myself and everything, which if you keep watching my channel, you will learn that I am very bad at art. So that's saying something about how much I love Mrs. Piggle Wiggle. <laughs> Where do you read? Really, I, this is kind of my reading spot. 
in here. This is my big chair that I read in. Usually I kind of turn it around because I like facing the fireplace, which is behind me that you can't really see. And I like seeing the picture and the bookcases and being able to see everything. Uh, I also like to read over on our couch. That's in there. We have a chaise and I'll just stretch out and read on there and eat chips and dip and stuff while I do that. So those are my main reading spots. The refrigerator is more easily accessible. So that's a big plus for me. Oh, in the bathtub. I love reading in the bath. I think it is so calming, so relaxing. And I get some of my best reading done in the bathtub because I just don't get interrupted. And I love that. What kind of books do you like to read? So this is the final question. And really, I like to read a big variety of books, but I do focus more on fantasy. I love fantasy. I love the magic. I love how magical it feels. I love it. I've, I will always love fantasy and I think it will probably always be my favorite, but I do read a bunch of other things as well. I'm starting to read a little bit more contemporaries. I actually have my first psychological thriller on my list, so I'm excited to read that. I think it'll be very intriguing and if I like it I might go into that genre a little bit more often because I think that's something I'd really enjoy. Uh, I read contemporary sometimes obviously. I like historical fiction. I honestly love historical fantasy a lot. Those are amazing but I like historical fiction too. I read some nonfiction books. Really only the ones that seem appealing to me. I don't like to make myself read nonfiction books if they're not interesting. Interesting to me. I should clarify. I'm sure all books are interesting to some people. I do enjoy sci-fi as well. Really, I like a lot of genres. I just tend to read more fantasy than any other genre. Yeah, so that's the end of the booktube newbie tag. I'm really hoping that I can get to know some of you guys, that we can become friends, we can chat about books because I obviously love to talk and I love to talk about books more than anything else in this world. So if you liked this video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that'd be great. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos, I'm going to be doing some TBRs, book hauls, I'd like to do readathon videos and do some reviews on some books that I have read and also probably some book box unboxings. So just let me know what you think in the comments down below and I hope to chat with you guys soon. Bye!